Hey guys, go to Boy32 here, check it out. I wanted to show you a really neat trick that I found uh, from another website or another YouTube channel on uh, this stuff called Plastic Dip. Now, one of the things I did some research on this is because I cannot stand the pick and plug foam. This stuff right here, it's great if you're starting out and you need something to store a piece of equipment in, but if you're in and out, in and out with that piece of equipment, eventually what's gonna happen is these little pieces were gonna continue to tear, especially to the adjacent part. Um, so what I've done, this is the Pelican pick and pluck, and here's the Plano. So we're gonna do this video, is gonna serve two reasons. One of it is, I'm gonna show you how to do this plastic dip. I'm gonna show you the differences between the Pelican pick and pluck, the Plano pick and pluck, and then I'm gonna show you the end result of what uh, I did with my uh, go case. Anyway, stand by, we're gonna bring the camera in and do a detailed shot, and we'll show you how to do this stuff. Stand by. All right, so what we got, this is the Pelican pick and pluck. And if anybody's wondering while we're doing this outside, it's like, hey, teacher, can we have class outside? Because it is absolutely wonderful down here in the south. North Carolina, we've got a high of 82 degrees today. It's unbelievable. 64 degrees this morning. Had a cup of coffee out here and enjoying my Father's Day. But anyway, I want you to look at this. This is the Pelican pick and plug. Now, where this stuff is pretty decent, you can see the pick and plug sections are about 3 8 inch, close to maybe a half inch in, in uh, separation there. Now, this is the Plano pick and plug. Now, you know, Plano is a little bit more economical. However, the pick and plug sections are roughly about five eighths of an inch in uh, size, like that. So let me hold these up side by side so you can see. Plano, Plano, Pelican. <laughs> All right, so one of the things that I wanted to do, and I saw this in a video on how to make this more like a continuous piece of foam or solid piece of foam is you can take this stuff right here. Now this is plastic dip. You can pick this stuff up at any of your hardware stores. Um, most of uh, like Pet Boys, AutoZone, they carry it as well. It's about $5.99 a can. And what you do is you can take this stuff and you can spray it. Now I'm gonna show you, this is one coating right here. Let me see if you can see that. All right. And then this is what it started out with. All right, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna put one more coat on there. And what it essentially does, it bonds those segments together. As you can see, now with one coat, it's not that big a deal, but once you put about three or four coats on there, and it took about two cans to do both layers of what I wanted to do here in this case. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this case out of the way. We're gonna go ahead and spray this on here. I'm gonna show you exactly what it looks like when you spray it, stand by. All right, so guys, what you're gonna do, you're gonna take this stuff up, you wanna shake it up real good, man, because that stuff, it, uh, and in a well-ventilated area. But go ahead and take a couple minutes and shake it up real good. Make sure that it's all mixed up in there because there's a lot of bonding material. And a lot of people use this for, you know, painting, hell, they paint their cars with it, paint uh, rims. And you know what is interesting is I'm planning on doing some other type of painting with this, maybe even try to do a firearm. Not so sure that it's gonna hold up in the uh, long run, but uh, it's pretty cool. Rubber coating, multi-purpose rubber coating. But what we're gonna use it for is to go ahead, I'm gonna spray this little section right here, okay? But you can see what is happening versus how it started out with is you got this thing. Every time you shove a piece of equipment in there, it was pulling that stuff away and I didn't really like it. So what I wanted to do was try to give me, give myself some kind of a more permanent look or solid foam stuff. So even where it started to pull apart right there, after I spray it, I, well, if you've got an area in there, just spray a little bit inside that and it'll, it'll close it right up. So we're gonna go ahead and it's got a fan approach, see like that? Don't be afraid to go ahead and put it to it, man. That's what I've done. And then what you wanna do is let that stuff sit out just like that and let her dry up. And what'll happen is it, it'll absorb into the pores of the foam. Oops. Hey, that's my dog or somebody else's, I think that's my dog. Anyway, it'll absorb into the pores of the, uh, the foam itself. And what you get is like more of a closed cell foam type, a type of foam. All right, so let's go ahead and set that aside and then I'm gonna open this thing up and show you what my end result is. Hold on. Yeah, that's right, that's my crazy dog over there. That's little Ollie. He's about 80 pounds right now, it's absolutely crazy. But anyway, let's go ahead and pull it up. So what we started off was, was this kind of stuff right here, the pick and pluck. 
And now, this is what we ended up with. As you can tell, just by looking at it, is that it, it created a solid foam piece. It got rid of all the pluck areas. And that is one of the things that I really wanted to do. Now, I would advise that when you have these sections, especially the Pelican, you've got the two sections. Go ahead and take some spray adhesive and bond these two sections, the upper and lower together, only after you've gone ahead and uh, cut it and made it the way you want it to. But in any case, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and do some close-up shots of this thing so you can tell. But you went from this to where you had to pick and pluck to this. And I'm gonna tell you something, I am real impressed it gives you the ability you can go ahead and spray it down into these open areas so that you can it doesn't peel away but that's what i was having the issue but i want to be able to shove this thing down in there okay and not have to worry about it all right so it just peeled away you see it right there put that in there this is my upper right here same thing and i spray this whole area down in here and later on, if you want, you can go ahead and replace it with a uh, solid piece of foam. But in the meantime, for $5.95, I was able to get the end result that I wanted to. Instead of, you can actually buy the solid pieces to fit in here for about $60, bucks, 58 dollars plus shipping, whatever it is. But I didn't want to spend that much money right away. And this can pluck it. versus a somewhat solid piece. And as you can tell, I can poke it in there. You're not gonna be able to beat it up or anything, but that's actually, this is my go case. This has got my AR pistol. Got your uh, another pistol in there, carrying some ammo. You got six full mags in here and enough room just to place whatever else I need to put in here. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, subscribe. We've got a lot of videos coming out. We've got a lot of other videos that we've made in the past, and I hope you enjoy it. Skoda Boy 32, support your boys in blue, and as always, God bless America. God bless those men and women in uniform 24 7 for our freedom. Freedom is not free. It's Skoda Boy 32. Out. Oh, yeah. Plastic dip.